coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. ANN flies the TL Aircraft Stream Tandem. Rotax unveils 24 volt 915 ISC. 33rd Annual Women's Conference concludes. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. ANN flies TL Aircraft Stream Tandem. Wow, talk about your Walter Mitty moments. ANN's Jim Campbell got a test flight in the TL Aircraft Stream Tandem RG Composite Rocket. Powered by a Rotax 100 horsepower ULS, the Stream sleek lines are an eye catcher right from the get go. A fighter style side stick and adjustable rudder pedals makes acclimating to the cockpit an easy event. And the side hinged canopy offers superb visibility for your next fake fighter adventure due to the skinny nose allowed by the tandem configuration. And if traveling, there are small baggage areas in front and back of the cockpit area. Taxi maneuverability is agile, braking is good, and initial takeoff acceleration due to the constant speed prop and Rotax was pretty swift. Initial climb rate was pretty consistent at 1000 FPM or more with a nearly gross weight and a 90 degree day. The stream rolls light and obediently, needs a little lead in from the rudder to properly coordinate everything, and pitches balanced nicely between response and control pressures. Slow flight down to stall was typified by a high frequency, low amplitude buffet and excellent controllability from roll and yaw, with no inclination toward auto rotation. Cruise wise, we saw 138 to 141 knots at 4,500 feet or so, at near to 75% power. The overall feel is sweet and the visibility worth the price of admission. All in all, a really cool little airplane. More info coming soon. After the break, Douglas A26 restoration on track for Oshkosh. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Douglas A26 Restoration on track for Oshkosh. Oshkosh, a classic opportunity for warbird enthusiasts from around the world to see the latest and greatest restorations around, will have a new aircraft on the flight line this year, a Douglas A26 Invader. The restoration was undertaken by former EAA director Kermit Weeks as part of a long-term restoration effort aimed at bringing the aircraft back to life. The aircraft has taken years to come to completion, going back as far as 1997. Dassault's Regional Maintenance and Operations Seminars Return Dassault Aviation has announced the beginning of its educational extravaganza on April 6th in Paris, France, and ending May 24th in Chicago, Illinois. During the MO seminar series, they will tour across seven cities in North America, South America, and Europe to meet clients, customers, and supporters. Jean Kayanakis, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Customer Service and Assistant Head over at Service Center Network, said Dassault can't wait to get back into the swing of things. SkyWest ordered to continue service to rural and small airports. ALPA has commended DOT on its work in ensuring continued airline service to small and rural communities throughout the U.S. ALPA noted the recent taxpayer subsidies issued to SkyWest in recent years, bolstering their bottom line and hopefully maintaining service to those areas that might otherwise be unprofitable. 
The airline recently notified the Department of Transportation of its intent to discontinue essential air service to 29 cities, citing problems in staffing flights amidst a small but growing pilot shortage. The department rejected that plan. International Young Eagles Day scheduled for June 11, 2022. EAA is celebrating a milestone for young people between the ages of 8 and 17 during the 29th annual International Young Eagles Day on Saturday, June 11th. Each year they set aside one day to encourage all EAA members and chapters to participate in the Young Eagles program and share their passion for aviation with a new generation. This year's celebration means just a bit more as they continue to return to pre-pandemic life. EAA is aiming to return to 2019's flight level. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Rotax unveils 24 volt 915 ISC. Foreshadowed earlier this year, Rotax has unveiled the 24 volt version of their 915 ISC engine, delivering up to 800 watts for a range of aircraft configurations. The 24 volt system is available for new Rotax 915 ISC engines, both certified and ASTM compliant. Now users can implement a variety of aircraft board systems, digital displays, glass cockpits, synthetic vision, and more, with plenty of overhead to charge trinkets, EFBs, and phones along the way. The new 915 ISC C24 delivers up to 800 watts from its extra light converter. Rotax designed the 915 for lightweight, compact utility with lighter cabling throughout the power delivery system to minimize weight as much as possible. That performance doesn't come alone, with 104 peak horsepower on tab from the turbocharged 1352cc engine. The 915 only weighs 184 pounds, with about 15 pounds added for the engine suspension frame, alternator, and fuel pump assembly. The 915 boasts the best of both worlds, giving power and performance while being an affordable, reliable power plant for any light aircraft. The 915 has a maximum operating altitude of 23,000 feet, with a time between overhaul of 1,200 hours. After these messages, 33rd Annual Women's Conference concludes. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. 33rd Annual Women's Conference concludes. Women in Aviation International has successfully held their 33rd Annual Conference, once again celebrating and boosting women in aviation. This year, the group took to the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center in Nashville, Tennessee from March 17th to 19th for a slate of speakers, exhibitors, and educational sessions. Once through with the education, the conference concluded with scholarship awards and inductions into the Pioneer Hall of Fame. The conference is one of the best places to rub elbows with the movers and shakers of every segment of aviation, from business to mainstream carriers to the engineering side of aerospace. The conference is home to more than 103 scholarships for young members, totaling more than $473,000 in awards this year. Recognitions issued during the event included the admittance of Cornelia Clark Fort, Rosemary Mariner, and Peggy Phillips to the Pioneer Hall of Fame. Fort was the first female pilot to die on active duty. Mariner, one of the first women to train as a naval aviator, and Phillips the first to be selected by the 702nd Military Airlift Squadron to attend undergraduate pilot training. And that's our program for today. 
You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.